Brain Myths presents Psychology Facts About Love That Will Seriously Make Your Heart Smile Let's unpack some of love's deepest secrets and discover what love is, and how and why we feel it. 1. The Science Behind Love Love is an overwhelming emotion that we are unable to control because it originates from our subconscious mind, which contains 10 times more information than our conscious mind. 2. Hogs and Cuddles The hormone oxytocin, which is known as the love hormone, is released by your body when you hug or cuddle someone. The hormone may aid in the bonding process between two people because it is present in the brain and sexual organs. 3. A Kiss of Life Men who kiss their wives first thing in the morning supposedly live up to five years longer. Kissing activates the pleasure regions of the brain, making you feel happy all day long. A kiss from a loved one can make you feel happier and less stressed, which is really good for your health. 4. Holding hands affects the body. For deeply connected couples, love can be therapeutic. Holding their hand might reassure your partner if they're having a hard time. 5. Agape, love of humanity. The word for love used in the Bible to describe both God's and people's love for one another is agape. Greek in origin, the word agape is regarded as the pinnacle of love not only by Christians but also by adherents of other faiths. Agape, according to Buddhists, is the fundamental kind of love for everyone. 6. Philia, love of friends and equals. Philia can be used to indicate a long-lasting love, a close friendship, or strong family ties. You may feel more at ease and happier as a result of this kind of love. 7. Storage, love of parents for children. The love parents have for their kids is known as storage. This kind of love is extremely familiar to mothers since it comes naturally to them when they give birth. As parents, particularly mothers, have a tendency to love their children regardless of misbehavior, storage can be viewed as an unconditional love. 8. Eros, Erotic, Passionate Love Eros is an addicting and risky form of love that is motivated by passion. Passionate love is based more on sexual cravings and appeals than it is on morals and personality. 9. Why do we need love? Love makes us feel secure and loved. We require it to carry out our daily activities since we are unable to achieve our objectives without certainty and support. Studies have indicated that children who do not get care and affection as babies will suffer psychological problems as adults. 10. Signs that you might be in love. What signs of love are there? Here are some indicators that could be helpful. They make you uneasy and jittery. Once they've gone, you can't wait to see them again. You would sacrifice your time to see them and don't mind making sacrifices for them. They will make you feel sexually aroused. You just pay attention to good things. People who are in love are more willing to forgive their partner or new crush for bad behavior. 11. Emotional Dependence versus Love A relationship that is emotionally dependent develops out of neediness rather than genuine affection. While emotionally dependent partners may believe they are in love, they actually lack self-love and instead depend on their other for attention, support, and acceptance. 12. Can everyone love? Not everyone has the capacity to love another person. Some people are unable of receiving or expressing love due to specific psychological difficulties. You may find it difficult to fall in love for a variety of reasons, including low self-esteem, codependency, personality disorders, childhood abuse, mood disorders, issues with perfectionism, and abandonment. 13. The Three Levels of Love Each person will go through each of the three stages of the love process to find their passion. These are the three phases of love. Stage 1. Lust Stage 2. Attraction Stage 3, Attachment 14, Love Dreams Psychology holds that our deepest aspirations, secrets, worries, and anxieties are revealed in our dreams. Many hidden facts about ourselves can be revealed by our love dreams. For instance, having a dream that you fall in love with a total stranger may indicate that you aren't happy with your life. Or having a dream about your significant other could indicate that you are connected. 15. Is there a difference between infatuation and love? 
In contrast to love, which takes time to develop into a meaningful relationship between two people, infatuation is a brief but intense connection to someone or something. 16. Can you love more than one partner? Depending on the sort of love, you can be in love with numerous people at once without betraying your partner. While you're in a relationship, you could develop feelings for an ex-partner again or discover someone new. Additionally, love is a complex concept that may mean different things to different people. While some people may favor open relationships, others may be fixated on finding the one. 17. The Evolution of Love The way that we love today was not possible for previous man. Our cognitive and communication capacities grew along with the size of our brains. Additionally, as these abilities and our language developed, we got more self-aware and developed a love consciousness. Love grew along with us from its simple origins as a mother-infant relationship. 18. There are seven types of love here are the seven types of love. Infatuation, friendship, empty love, companionate love, romantic love, consummate love, fatuous love. 19. Gender and love. Men and women have diverse romantic experiences, for instance, men can fall in love within 18 seconds whereas women can take up to 15 days. According to research, males initiate sex more frequently when they are in love than women do. Men are more likely to initiate the I love you declaration than women, according to other studies. 20. Can animals love? Many animal species, including the seahorse, bald eagle, gibbon, and gray wolf, are monogamous. Animals can experience love, according to neuroscientific study, and since attachment is a type of love, it stands to reason that animals can fall in love with their owners. 21. How do different cultures love? The concept of love varies widely among cultures. Our varying moral standards, worldviews, and cultural traditions have an impact on how we view and feel love. For instance, in Indian culture, the family's demands and interests come before those of the individual. Alternately, the Amish priorities their love, agape love, for God and their community over all other types of love. 22. Emotional Intelligence and Love How you accept and offer love might be influenced by your emotional quotient, EQ. Your emotional awareness will benefit and help in a long-lasting relationship if you have a high EQ. The capacity to express your emotions to others, displaying empathy, and having outstanding listening skills are some manifestations of a high EQ. 23. Lust versus Love Love has the power to create a strong attraction that leads to a deep relationship. Hormones, not the thinking, are what produce lust and intense bodily desire to be with someone. 24. You can go on a love diet. Researchers have found that when you fall in love, your body releases hormones that reduce your appetite. 25. Love may give you sleepless nights. Due to particular hormones released in the body during sexual activities and acts, falling in love might cause insomnia. Your mood and energy will be lifted by the hormones, making it more difficult to relax and sleep.